so up first, we have Ninja Cal. Ninja Cal's been doing this. Let's see, youngin. Good to see him in the elites. Oh, making it look easy. Ninja Cal, like I said, has been showing off his progress since a kid in this ninja scene. So strong, so strong. Woo. I'm telling you, maybe, maybe I was underrating the talent of the elites. Or maybe Ninja Cal is just a beast. So he's taking off the mask. Getting over to the cliffhanger. He's up. Awesome first through the, the dominoes there. No slowing down. And really, that's how you have to run this course. Like I was saying, that two minute time limit. Ah. All right, now Tim Dex are up. I think. Now I grew up training with the Northeast guys. So Tim Dexter was the first prodigy that I've seen. Because he was just a young, young guy. Just competing with the Jamies and the Bernardos and the Wilcheskis of the world. Tim is an impressive ninja. To the unstable bridge. All right, onto the bungee trapeze. Nice. Now again, he's going to go onto that bungee trapeze to the cliffhangers. Tim really is looking smooth. Once through, Yancey again, one of those OGs, making the first two obstacles look like no problem. Correction, three obstacles. Very clean run so far for Yancey. Ah, misses that dismount to the bar. Alright, up now we have Malia. I believe she is the first female in this course. He is tall. I don't know if you can tell. I don't think you'll have to... I was going to say, I, I wouldn't think you'd have to adjust. Alright, here's Connor. I was going to make up backstories for people, uh, but that's not, that's not cool to do. And the reason why I say that is I believe Connor was a former gymnast. So he should be very comfortable in the air, controlling his body, 
and Dan being a former gymnast, I think he uh, makes a lot of these courses and that strength. So I can see Connor doing well here. And if I totally made that up and he wasn't a gymnast, well then, oopsie daisy. Connor's already on the unstable bridge. Over to the bungee trapeze. Okay. I'm comfortable in saying he's a former gymnast. I think he just proved me right there. Or he just passively throws those skills around. I don't know. Oh, skips the blue right to the red. Now under the vertical limit. After the break, we got Luke kicking us off. Through the first obstacle, no problem. But you have to think on this course. Every extra swing, every extra step, it's going to cost you because that time limit. All right, through the first obstacle, no problem. One swing, great strategy here. Trying to make up as much time early through these first few obstacles. Because I'm telling you, you get to that thumbtack, I think you want some time. All right, now here is where several competitors have gone down the vertical limit. So he's gonna go back on the bungee, up to the cliffhanger there. Ah. Put it on record. I like the joke. I joke. So Sheila down on the first obstacle. He's worked so hard to get to where he is. And I think that should be applauded for sure. So, Dave, the owner of TA Fitness. Making the first two obstacles. Well, let's wait till he lands on the platform. And he's through. But like I said earlier, every extra swing, every extra step, that's gonna cost you on this course. So, up to the unstable bridge. Bungee trapeze into the block. And he's there. So next up is a cliffhanger, followed by the vertical limit, which has really been taking a lot of people out. Let's see if Dave can be the one to reverse course. Bring a completion here. He's up. Oh, didn't trust his grip. It's back down. And on this, on this bungee trapeze, it's difficult to get that momentum back. Three, two, one, go. 
First obstacle, domino row to the trapeze. Connor's off in two swings. This next one, the rope swing to the unstable shield. He got, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. All right. Ivan's up next. Through the first obstacle with little concern. One swing and off it. Ooh, I felt like he wanted to go there. Ah! Oh, Lucio. That was close. Through in one swing. Oh, great grab there, because it looked like his body was turning at the end of that rope swing. Great adjustment in the air. Now steadying himself to get to that platform. Like I've said, though, every extra swing, that's going to that's gonna count for something in a two-minute time limit here. It's only going to get tougher. Nice grab. Onto the unstable bridge. There, he's on. Chalking up for this next part. This is grip intensive here. But not a lot of time to rest. You gotta get going, Lucio. He's ready. So it looks like he's trying to skip that blue. Go right to the red. Nice power right into it. Right through it. Oh. Great try. Too much swing into it. Paul's gonna take another swing just for the heck of it. Tim is going to intentionally try to get in my way. <laughs> Coaching his buddy. Big jump, Paul. Oh no. Keep going. Keep trying to ball you want. Two, one, go. Oh, no. <laughs> Through the first obstacle, no problem. Gives it a cheer. Looks like he's going to be through the first two obstacles, no problem. And I'm going to wager to guess this third one will not pose any issue. So Adam looking real strong up until this point. On the unstable bridge. 
to this bungee trapeze. There we go. Every swing matters though, because we're at, we got a two minute time limit here. Can't rest too long. Now if you're just tuning in, he's gotta bounce his way up to that cliffhanger. Here it is. Right up to the blue. Onto the cliffhanger. Next up, we got the vertical limit. Not easy on the fingertips. His arms are straightening, though. I don't know how much longer he's got. But you can hear the crowd pumping him up. Ah! What a fight. Now we'll see if Josh can be our first clear of the day. Because judging by the statement I just made, there have been zero clears. Oh, one and done. That's what you call sending. Here's the fun obstacle. Over to the mini tramp. Onto the unstable bridge, no problem. Josh is moving at a good clip here. But this is where people have been getting hung up. So he's got a minute 15. That quickness, and he still only has about a minute when he hops up here. Right up to the cliffhanger. Come on, Jay. Yes, locked in. Let's go. Come on, Jay. Let's go. Over to the T block. You got this. Lock it in. Yeah. Nice. He's got it. Let's go. Onto the ring. Needs to get it off that. Having a problem popping it off. There we go, he's swinging. Onto the block. You can hear, he's got 20 seconds. Onto the thumbtacks, which nobody's gotten here with a clear yet, but it's been giving people difficulty who have tried it. So great run by Josh. Aaron Lucas is up. From Dexterity Depot. Out in Central PA. Got some strong ninjas out there. Led by Tim Dexter. Oh. Readjusts on that shield. Bold move. He's trying to work a swing. Probably will complete this, but that's a lot of, and you heard it from Aaron, taking forever. A lot of time. So, I don't think he can afford himself a break here. Onto the unstable bridge. This pesky trapeze. He's off it, but he's going to be back on it to get up to that cliffhanger. <laughs> Hands together. And up. He's trying to recontrol that swing. 
There you go. Now he's listening to the other very knowledgeable ninjas over here. Wow. I mean, that's tough. He needed to commit there. Now, Judith tests the boundaries of every course of life. He, oh, he's looking to bypass that shield. Right over the poles. Judas, just a super strong ninja. I don't think he gets enough credit for the planning he does going into these. I think he knows what he's going to do at each obstacle. He really envisions his runs. I'm in a little trouble. There on the trapeze, which just can't afford on this course. You got two minutes to get through it all. So he's. So he's trying to get up to that cliffhanger. I'm gonna guess he's feeling it in his hands right now. Yeah. <laughs> so right now we got Jonathan looking strong through the first obstacle. Got that bridge. And it looked like he adjusted on the bridge too. That's a tough move. And he's onto the unstable bridge. Jonathan looking strong here. Go! He's back on to get to that cliffhanger. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh. Another Sen City Ninja. Sen City Ninja. I have trouble saying that. Sen City. Sen City. And these guys are strong. So here we got Daniel. Looks like he opts for his own music while running. Unless he's on a phone call with someone, which would be the most baller of phone calls. So on that last domino there, looked like it tipped just as she was about to jump, but still grabs onto that trapeze. Ah, just miss it, misses the uh, grab on the shield. Grab that trapeze. Ooh. Very fun fact by AJ there. Avery coming in second place at the last 
Gravity Force competition. Alright, we got Matt up. Going through one swing, no problem. Sprinting to the rope. Oh, my guess is he's going right to the platform, yes. Up to the pipe post. Down. Ah, just misses the front of that unstable bridge. Is it full? All right. Rachel through the first obstacle, no problem. You can hear everyone telling her, get low. Ah, just misses that grab on the shield. Eisner. Joe Meisner, a super strong ninja. Let's go! Has, uh, has definitely won his fair share of competitions in the NNL. So this is a strong competitor while we're, we're watching right now. Onto the platform. He knows there's not... And I don't think Joe Meisner takes too long of breaks. I mean, he's a really strong dude. So... He knows he's got to move into this stuff quickly. He's got the stamina for it. Receiving incoming transmission. There it is. So he's going to chalk up, make sure he's ready for this cliffhanger. He wants to be the first one through this. Grab that ring on the other side. Stay in the center, stay in the center. Oh, if, 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 Yes. Come on, Joe, get off that. Come on, Joe, come on. Awesome work. So Joe is heading to the balance. He's easy, our easy, easy, easy. furthest competitor thus far. Bring it to you. Let's go, Joe. Home stretch. Come on. Joe Meisner here. In the center. In the center. Trying to complete easy, the course. Ah. All right, here we got Ava up over the trapeze. One swing and done. She's trying to get to that shield quickly. Crowd telling her to stay low. Awesome! If she completes this, I believe that will be our first female to complete the second obstacle. On to the third. It's merely just a ride. For our competitors. It's gonna be hopping right up to the bar. Ah, just missed the the pipe poster, but a great run by Ava. Ryan looking smooth through these obstacles. Grab the shield. But you definitely want to get off that as quickly as possible. Onto the trampoline. Right up. Using his length. Here we go. Onto the trapeze. Man, this look easy so far. But the difficult part is just ahead. So, just a minute. Come on, Ryan, you got this. Feel it out. Nice. To get through. 
this cliffhanger, vertical limit, ring, balance, PVC pipe, warp wall. That's a lot. Get over to that T. Ah! That's the difficult part of making a trip. Matt, definitely making that look harder than it needed to be. He's going for the shield. So, through two obstacles, Matt's through them, but I just question about timing, because we've had more efficient runs through those first two. Oh, man! Right. Matt is just defying this, this course. He's like, I'm... I'm not going to go up two-handed, just one. And then I'm not going to get it straight off the coaster. I'll play around on it a little bit. Now, what's amazing about Matt is his stamina. He can do this hanging stuff, anything grip, for days. He's got probably the best stamina I've seen in an ninja. So here's the real test. We're on to balance. Stay with it, you're fine. One foot high, one foot low. Center, center, stay in the center. So, I think I heard Dan say 15 seconds, so I don't know if we're going to get a clear here. Go, go, go! So, you heard Dan count down, 3, 2, 1, while he was on the PVC fight. Just not enough time. But Bradley gets through it without pulling. So here we got Josiah. Got a lot of length here. Looks like he's going straight for the platform. He knows time is of the essence. Josiah, I believe, one of our younger ninjas who has risen through the ranks. So an extra swing here. And he's going to be back on it. Right up. Here we go. It looks like more and more ninjas are getting that down. Josiah really looking smooth. Taking an extra swing on this ring. An extra second swing. And he's on, but how much time? So, I think I heard Dan say 30 or 20 seconds. One of the two, but not a lot of time. And these thumbtacks are a time sucker. 10 seconds. Oh, he saved it. He's still on. He, that was good. I didn't see any appendage touch 
Similar to Matt Bradley, he's going to time out on the PVC. But that was quite the save. I mean, obviously, we'll review all this. All right, Max is up, taking a careful approach on those dominoes, but still gets enough momentum to one swing on that trapeze. Grab the shield, but really doesn't have a lot of swinging momentum. He's going to take a bit of time to get over to that platform. That'll be costly. And he's onto the unstable bridge. <laughs> Almost tripped. May, not Max. Alright, I don't know how long he can wait on this. He's got to get up there and go. Get on that cliffhanger. Oh man. Oh. Max was up. So Addy, another member of Sen City. Oh man, and she is looking to send this course. Over. Over do it. Ah. 